Good evening, brothers and sisters. Uh, welcome to Blessed Sacrament Parish. Today is Wednesday of the 15th week in ordinary time. Our entrance hymn is Table of Plenty, number 311 in the music issue. 311. Please stand so we can begin. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, be always with you. Amen. And good evening, my friends. Amen. So good to see you today as we commemorate St. Bonaventure. He was a Franciscan uh, priest and became a bishop and then was also elevated to become a, uh, a cardinal though he took it all in stride because God had gifted him so much with great talent, with great intelligence. He was considered a, uh, a doctor with divine uh, knowledge. So they called him the seraphic doctor of the church, uh, a, a knowledge that only God could have given to him and therefore uh, shared with us the people of God. But he took it all with stride because he was... Uh, although very much even the general of all the Franciscans in the world, he would wash his dishes every day. He was a man very humble, and he always knew his place before God. And so all of us too, my friends, we realize God has blessed us immensely and loves us so much. We turn to him once again for that gift of humility, for the gift of his mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord, our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to Assyria, the rod in ang my rod in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impetuous nation I send him, and against a people under my wrath I order him to seize plunder, carry off loot, and tread them down like the mud of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind. Rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, by my own power I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am shrewd. I have moved the boundaries of peoples, their treasures I have pillaged, and like a giant, I have put down the enthroned. My hand has seized like a nest the riches of nations, as one takes eggs left alone, so I took it in all the earth. No one fluttered a wing, nor opened a mouth, or chirped. Will the axe boast against him who hews with it? Will the saw exalt itself above him who wields it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it, or a staff him who is not wood, Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and instead of his glory, there will be kindling, like the kindling of fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O Lord, they trample down. Your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay. The fatherless they murder. The Lord will not abandon his people. And they say, the Lord sees not. The God of Jacob perceives not. Understand, you senseless ones among the people, and you fools, when, when will you be wise? The Lord will not abandon his people. Shall he who shaped the ear not hear, or he who formed the eye not see? Shall he who instructs nations not chastise, he who teaches men knowledge? 
The Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. The Lord will not abandon his people. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy. My apologies. That's tomorrow's gospel reading, so just pretend tomorrow that you'll be surprised. Huh? <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. So there were two brothers, and they were fighting over a sandwich And the mom turned to them and told the older brother, since you're older, you get to split the sandwich in two. The younger brother thought, well, that's not fair. He's not going to do it equally. So the older brother turns to the younger brother and sticks out his tongue right, thinking he's got the upper hand. And when he does cut the sandwich in two, the mom immediately intervenes again and says, since you're the younger brother, you get to choose which of the two you want. <laughs> it's a lesson, my friends, that we could apply to today's first reading. Jerusalem had turned away from God again. And they were before the Assyrian army. 
And God was not going to any longer protect them because they had chosen their lot. They had chosen and continued, even in the face of the enemy, chose not to turn to God for help. They were proud people, proud in their hearts, and thought that they could, without God, do it on their own. And so God turns to Assyria to be his instrument to teach Israel a lesson. To punish Israel. To allow what was coming to them. The problem was that Assyria was even more proud than Israel. And instead of just punishing, Assyria wanted to obliterate completely the people of God. He wanted to do away with them. Commit genocide, in other words. To erase them from the face of the earth. And so God intervenes again. And this is the lesson today. Can the saw be more than the one who wields it, or the hammer be more than the carpenter? Can the instruments of God ever pose themselves greater than the one who created them? It's a lesson in humility for all involved. It's a lesson for all of us today, too, my friends, as we commemorate this very humble servant of God, Bonaventure. God had given him great gifts, talents, but he understood that as great of a tongue and of a penmanship and of thinking that he had possessed by the grace of God, he understood, first of all, that it wasn't his gifts, right? I am so smart. I am such a great writer. I, I, I. But the other lesson that he also understood was that as a preacher, as a theologian, as a priest, bishop, and cardinal, he also understood that it wasn't just simply that form of bringing the people of God, of sharing the good news, of opening hearts. He also understood by his humble example, as respected as he was as the general minister of all the Franciscans, right? The head honcho. that he could also teach his brothers, especially in the general household, a lesson in humility to make his bed, to wash his own dishes, to sit and to serve his brothers when they come to eat, and to pick up the dishes once they are done. a lesson in humility for all of us to appreciate what Jesus is trying to teach his disciples in the gospel. A childlike, a humbled creature 
child is dependent and looks up to his parents for everything. As much as he is blessed and gifted and provided for and nurtured and loved, the child always looks to his parents for the greatest of these gifts. And is always, always in a relationship connecting them both. And that relationship is one of love. Today, my friends, as we look at all these things that you and I experience every day, all the limitations, right, because of the pandemic. Um, just saw a little friend of mine that I wish I could give her a big hug. And all we can do is just greet each other with an acknowledgement of our head. The truth is, my friends, have we learned our lesson? Do we truly look to God for everything? Have we learned to let go of our idols, false gods? Where will our redemption come from? our relief, our help, if not from the Lord and the Lord alone. There is no other. Let us pray, my friends, that in the face of, of this tragic world situation that we're all facing in some form or another, we may always learn to look upon our loving Father as truly dependent on Him and trust and not be afraid. Regardless of where others may see and seek and tell us, look here, look over there. Let us not be proud. Let us be humble. Let us trust. Let us learn that even in the gifts that God has given to us, they are no more than the giver of those gifts. They are truly all dependent on him as all of us. Attentive to the childlike, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the baptized may hear the wisdom of the least, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the little ones of the earth may guide the hands of the powerful, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That earth's people may seek the wisdom of the gospel, we pray. That the gracious will of God may bring comfort and healing to the sick, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may become child, that we may become children before our heavenly teacher, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the dead may live forever in the light of God's wisdom, we pray. 
Let us pray to the Lord for the eternal repose of Alex Carrillo and all who have died, especially in these days of the pandemic, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Elena Amaya and Mari, um, Mari, what is her last name? Herrera. On their birthday, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray to the Lord also for uh, all the Franciscans throughout the world, especially those serving in our diocese on their feast day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the permanent diaconate. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. We pray for humility upon all the world's leaders. We pray also for that gift upon our religious leaders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. Hear a source of wisdom and make us like children before your word. May we lead others to the simplicity of your eternal kingdom. For Christ Jesus is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is 461, I Has Not Seen, 461. my sisters and brothers and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our almighty father for our good, good of all this holy church look with favor O lord we pray on the offerings we set upon this sacred table on the feast day a blessed bonaventure that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. In Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victims, as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory 
through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praises without end. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, the clergy and religious everywhere. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles, Saint Bonaventure, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. children of our Heavenly Father, we lift our hearts in confidence and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Then your mercy grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another a sign of God's peace. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere Behold, this is the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my room. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is three two seven. I am the bread of life. Three two seven. shall not hunger, and who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons, and I will raise you up, and I will raise And 
and I will raise you up on the last day. I am the resurrection. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Saint Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We want to wish our 21-year-old Mari happy birthday. Muchos más. Dios te bendiga, Mari. God bless you. God bless your mom and dad for giving you life too. Huh? God bless you, Terry. Good to see you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and keep you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love, to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you, everyone. God bless you all. Thank you, Father. Our recessional hymn is 587, Christ Be Our Light, 587. Make us your living. 